Today in this video you will see Zara being saddled for the first time ever. Uh, Raven is doing it for me in this video. I'm over, uh, she's talking to me now, I'm over standing by the gate talking to her and uh, just kind of, she's done this before, but just kind of talking her through it and and talking about how Zara reacts and how to adjust to what Zara does. Uh, here Raven's just picking up the lunge whip and just kind of reminding her just kind of some uh, I guess you'd say remedial work just reminding her that things are okay not gonna bother her and I've always said you kind of uh, add something new or increase the degree of difficulty things will fall apart and you just back up and redo what the horse already knows and what she's doing there is just working on what Zara already knows to build that foundation to put the saddle and the saddle pad on, which she will do here in just a few minutes. Now she's connecting the lunge line right here. We Sometimes do this with the lead rope attached, sometimes with the lunge line attached. Uh, a lot of it has to do with how we think the horse is going to react <clears throat> and just kind of our comfort level. Uh, once we start saddling, start putting the saddle on, start tightening the saddle up, you cannot let go of the horse until the saddle is tight enough that it will stay on. The last thing you want is for the horse to start moving around or, or, or run off with the saddle half on. That's just a, a, a wreck that you don't want to happen. So it just depends on what you're comfortable with as to what you do that with. And uh, sometimes we do it with a lead rope, sometimes with a lunge line. And you see right there, she's brushing her, getting her ready to saddle. Mostly concentrating on where the saddle is going to go. We've actually, Raven has been putting the bridle on her every day and having her wear it in the stall for a little bit every day. So she's been bridled more than she's been saddled. And I, we always, with these young horses that we're starting, we always bridle first. I know that's contrary to um, what people learn when the horses are further along. You always put the bridle on because you're not going to lead with the bridle. Well, in this situation with these young horses that we're working, we're going to have a halter on under the bridle anyways, and we're going to be working. Everything that we're going to be doing is going to be from the halter. But by putting the bridle on first, that kind of helps distract the horse's attention on something else besides us, besides the saddling, uh, and like you see her, she's mouthing the bit a little bit, and it just kind of, it makes the saddling go better. Uh, makes the, a lot of things go better by putting that bridle on first. Now, as you see, as Raven works through this process, she's not gonna be in any hurry and also, we didn't lunge Zara any. We, everything that we do, uh, well, I say everything, we try to do everything that we can with as minimal lunging as necessary. If she moves out, she'll lunge her a little bit, but we really try to not do a whole bunch of lunging. We want the horse to accept the saddle and the pad and actually accept it, not that we lunge them to the point where they're too tired to run off. Or the other side of that is, is you, you teach a horse to make a good decision and if the horse moves his feet, you lunge it, but if it stands, you put the saddle pad on. But we want the horse to actually accept it, not just decide to take it because that's less scary than the lunging, less work than the lunging. We want them to actually accept it. And by doing it this way with as minimal lunging as we can get away with, the horse actually accepts everything a whole lot quicker, a whole lot easier. And 
and the other part of that is is you don't risk uh, a horse that has to be lunged every time they're ridden or every time they worked uh, we get a lot of horses in like that where if you don't lunge them before you get on them they buck and they make really bad decisions so what we're wanting to teach here is making good decisions even being cold without being worked with a fresh mind we want a good decision It's also a fine line between uh, kind of sacking them out to get them to accept it and sacking them out too much where you create problems like we had with Maverick. That you, If you saw his videos, he was sacked out and got flexible in his face and worked to the point where he had no go and no steering once we got on. So he was done a little bit to the extreme too much before his first ride. Now after you do those first couple rides, then you can back up and you can sack out all you want. But it's a, it's a line there you have to kind of figure out how much sacking out so that they accept what you want them to do, but not so much that you're creating some other problems before you put the first ride on. A lot of people have they just sack out and sack out to the point where the horse learns that it can stand there and not move its feet and will basically let you do anything you want to do to them. But then when you get on and you ask them to move their feet, you, you have no go. You have not put any go in. You haven't done any steering and you end up with steering issues. So it's a fine line there. Sack out enough that you had you the horse accepts it but not so much that you've taken away the tools that you need for the first ride now this will be the first time that she's ever had a saddle sat on her back that what you just saw was the first time she'd ever had a pad sat on her back Notice how Raven has the stirrup folded up so it's not going to hit her on the other side. And she just sets the saddle up there and pet her. She's not going to tighten it this first time. <clears throat> She's going to let her know that the saddle is okay. Right there, Zara goes to move her feet. She just asks her to stop and pet on her some more. What she's teaching Zara there is the saddle is okay. It's not going to hurt. Put it up there. Let her hold it just a minute and then take it back down. And then pet on her. This is just right. With the sacking out that we done in preparation for this, Zara already had things put on her back that she learned to accept. This is just one different thing. Raven took the pad and the saddle off and she's going to walk off. Go for a little walk. That's the reward. Pressure and release. Add the saddle with the pressure, take the saddle off, go for a walk, that's the release. It's really that simple. <clears throat> I also talk about building up a horse's adrenaline and then bringing that adrenaline back down. And that part is going to be used later with this horse when we start asking her to put effort into work. Uh, trot, lope, push cows, whatever we ask her to do, which brings that adrenaline up, kind of brings that, that stress level up, and then we bring that stress level down. It's the exact same way that we'll work later when we're, we're asking her to lope under saddle as it is right here when we're saddling up. Now right there, Zara went to walk forward and instead of going on and lunging her forward, she just showed her, no, we want you to stand here. Let's stand here instead. We don't really want to 
her to accept the saddle because she has been ridden a lot. Now, there is a point there where we will have to do something if she's moving her feet or if she's scared of the saddle. If she's really scared of the saddle, then we'll have to back up and do some more sacking out. Right there, it's, it's not really that she's scared. She's not trying to avoid it. She's not trying to leave, so it's a little bit different situation. <clears throat> now this time, Raven dropped the girth down. Zara's just walking a circle. Raven has her hand on the saddle so it don't fall off the other side. Now, if at that point Zara would have run off or really put a lot more effort, then we would have backed up and done something different. Like I said, we need we need a balance of go and stop. Raven's preparing her girth right there, her, her girth strap, <clears throat> for tightening the saddle. We do that in a very specific way with that little figure eight loop through the ring. She was very smart to prepare that that way. Now she's pulling the figure eight through, pulling the strap through. Notice how <clears throat> she's holding that girth up against Zara's belly. She's not letting it hang down low. She's holding it there while she tightens it. If she let it hang down low and then she pulled the strap and brought that girth strap up quick and hard to Zara's belly, then she would have created a problem. She would have created uh, some worry in Zara about that girth strap coming up and hitting her hard and squeezing hard and quick. But what Raven did is she held that strap up against her making her loops pulling up the slack with the strap up against her <clears throat> so that Zara doesn't get surprised by it. Little things like that make a huge difference when you're starting these horses. <coughs> now she's getting it snug. We need it snug enough so it stays on. I'm talking to Raven right there. Snug enough so it don't come off. Now, now Zara's going to buck a little bit here. And Raven just turns the line loose and now she's going to leave. Sometimes we will uh, try to just let them lunge around us. I, I do that a lot, but it really depends on your experience and knowing where to get. A lot of times when a horse is first saddled, they come to you and will actually knock you down and, and jump on you asking for help. So that really depends on your experience. I told Raven to go ahead and come out the gate and just drop the line and leave Zara there. Now she just stood outside for just a second. Zara stopped in the corner. She's just off screen from the camera. She just stopped, started standing and she actually relaxed. So Raven went back up there. She's going to grab the line and walk Zara back into the frame over here. Now this is probably the most dangerous part of this whole process right here because Raven's going to sack her out a little bit and if Zara gets scared at any point and wants help, uh, here she's going to lunge or make her move her feet. And if Zara gets scared and wants help and starts bucking, then she could kind of buck and on top of Raven and knock her down. So you have to be real careful of where she's at here in this situation so right right here you're gonna see several times where Zara pulls pretty hard and even though she has the bridle on uh, we are working off the halter and what we're trying to do here is go back get a little bit of lunging done that we've worked on before but when Zara starts to move and she feels the saddle on her back she kind of panics about the saddle yeah, Raven just dropped the line and going to get her to move her feet. The whole process, we have to have moving the feet. We're going to get on her back here and uh, not too much longer after this video, and we have to have her moving her feet. Right now, Zara is really thinking about that saddle, and Raven is trying to transfer that brain, transfer what she's thinking on away from the saddle, 
in, into what Raven is asking to do. And that's just lunge in a circle. Really all it is here. Here I'm talking to Raven about a technique there to keep her moving. There we go. If if Zara pulls really hard, she's Raven's just gonna let go of the line and she can just kind of free lunge her in here a little bit. But we really want to transfer that brain from the saddle to the person. And in a after what we need to do is we need to transfer Zara's thinking from the person on the ground to a person in the saddle. It's just gradually building one step on top of the, the previous step. Just asking for a little bit of a turn. And like I said before, you ask for the next step, things fall apart and you go back and reinforce the previous step. So Zara's mind is on that saddle. So the lunging isn't going to be as good. So she's going back and reinforcing that previous step. Now it's starting to get better. You'll see Raven is kind of walking with her a little bit. We do this a lot with these young horses and what we're trying to accomplish here is we don't want to just plant our feet and pull and have to just pull back the whole weight of the horse. You'll see Raven do that some, but she's trying to give a little bit too, so that she's encouraging Zara to go forward and soften to the line. Again, all stuff that we need moving forward with Zara's training. Now the next video that you'll see, uh, it's already been recorded. I'll get it edited and out uh, here pretty soon. In that video, Raven is actually ground driving Zara. So you'll see, see if you can kind of imagine the process right here from this lunging to ground driving, it's not too huge of a step uh, because Raven is already moving with her now a little bit. We just add the line on the other side. Raven is going to ask her to change directions. You just add the line on the other side and start teaching start teaching Zara to turn left and right. Getting some nice work done right here. forward there we go another little buck raven just lets go and she'll go back and get the line it's not huge it's not a big deal people uh, raven broke a nail there <laughs> and she just had her nails done uh, like the day before that's what she's laughing about here and uh it's not a huge deal uh zara breaks away and runs away it's an opportunity to teach and she's dragging that line behind her uh, the next day after this day, she starts ground driving her and she has more lines around behind her. It's all building. It's not a huge deal. <laughs> She's going to setting her nail down over here. She actually glued it on the neck back on the next day. Hard to keep, hard to keep nails when you train horses. There we go. Her mom's sitting over there too, watching. <clears throat> Me and her mom are sitting there watching her worker, work Ray, uh, Zara. There's Zara just stepped on the line back there. Even though Raven stopped to take care of what she needed to, Zara's still learning over there, learning how to give. Now Raven's gonna pick up the line and go back to work. Notice how Raven was walking towards her and right there, she just stopped, waited for Zara to just kind of work through what she's working through. She keeps stepping on the line. Now I think she's got it wrapped around her foot. We're just going to sit there and let her work it out. 
later down the road she gets a foot caught in a fence or something like that you'd be happy that this has been done so that she learns to not panic now Raven's gonna go help her Stepping on the line. <laughs> there we go. See, now there, there's a balance there that you see where Zara is still worried about the saddle, but she just walked behind Raven just to follow Raven. It's a good balance right there between asking for help and worrying about the saddle. Zara's still worried about the saddle, but because Raven is acting like there's nothing to be afraid of, and Raven is being her leader right here, Zara's accepting it, and it's okay. I talk so much about how to bond with a horse, and I actually had this conversation with somebody who brought a horse in just yesterday for training. You'll see videos of that horse pretty soon. You don't bond with the horse by sitting and feeding it treats. This is how you bond with a horse. And you just saw Zora just follow Raven for uh, because they made that bond. Now Raven's trying to give some, but not too much. Work on that steering. This is the same steering we're going to need in the saddle. And that this is a big part of why I say you have you have to accomplish things in a certain order. You can watch Zara right here, and you can see that she is not ready to ride because she's not giving her face to the left. So we'll drop ground drive, and we'll accomplish that. You know, that's that's actually already been done. I'll have that video up soon. And change directions <clears throat> and go the other way there we go mechanically Zara's turn there was nice she picked her front end up moved it around she overreacted to the lunge whip but that'll get better oops the door just swung over in front <laughs> sorry about that uh, if you, I, I don't think I really showed facing back to where this camera is. This this is the side of my barn, and on the side of the barn I have a TV mounted inside of a wooden cabinet, and we usually put our our camera, our phone, our phones. This is actually Raven's video, and with her phone right here, we've set our phones in here, and that's where we video, and that's one of the doors to the cabinet that just swung closed. I think it swings back open here in a minute. Must be wind must be blowing a little bit. So as you see, Raven's working on getting her back lunging nice like she was before. Just following in a circle, just not pulling too hard. Getting Zara whoops, she pulled pretty hard there. Getting Zara locked back on to what Raven asked her to do. There you see Zara's she's still pulling a little bit, but she's putting less effort into pulling. Change directions again. See if this see if this change is less dramatic. There, that was better. Less dramatic than the last change. <clears throat> and Zara is once she accepts something, she's pretty much over it and accepts it. Uh, Raven saddled her up the day after this, and there was no huge reactions, no buck. Uh, she, you could tell she was a little bit concerned about the saddle, but nothing bad. Not, not real, real bad concerned about it, and things went good. So once she accepts something, she's 
she's really smart about it and because of that we have to be careful because she will learn bad things just as quick as she learns good things it's actually a lot harder to train a horse that accepts or uh, that learns this quick there the door swinging back the other way when a horse learns this quick they learn bad things quick just as quick as they learn good things So the, the object of this lunging right here, and I've, I've talked about not doing a whole bunch of lunging, the object is to try to get her softer. Not pulling so hard because the next step after this is ground driving. So Raven's going to give her a break right here and let her stand and wear the saddle for a little while. The next video you'll see of Zara will, will be uh, Raven ground driving her and that goes really good and as of me editing this video uh zara is doing really good and you'll see a video of, a, of her first ride here really soon so again this is zara there'll be a playlist to her videos on youtube until next time thank you for watching